really interesting. Chris Hull's there, the boss of Life360. That's the latest business news. I'll see you later. Live from London, this is BBC News. The hunt continues for a suspected terrorist who escaped from a London prison and an urgent investigation is ordered into what happened. After a Russian missile strike kills 17 people in eastern Ukraine, the Kremlin says it's downed several Ukrainian drones overnight in Moscow. As the civil war in Yemen grinds on, we have a special report from Orla Guerin about the extraordinary resilience of some of its youngest citizens. Hello, you're watching BBC News with me, Catherine Biarohanga. We start here in the UK, where a hunt is continuing for a suspected terrorist who, es who escaped from a London prison. Daniel Khalif escaped by clinging to the underside of a food delivery van on Wednesday morning. The Justice Secretary has ordered an urgent investigation into what happened and why the former soldier wasn't held in a higher security prison. Our reporter Simon Jones has more. Some breaking news in the past few minutes. The UK will rejoin the EU's flagship research scheme, Horizon. Talks on the UK once again becoming a fully-fledged member of the EU's 100 billion euro programme began after a deal was cut on the post-Brexit arrangements for Northern Ireland earlier this year. We'll have more on this story in just a few minutes with one of our political correspondents. Russia says it has downed several Ukrainian drones overnight. One drone, one drone was reportedly intercepted close to Moscow and at least two more over the southern Rostov region. It comes as the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, continues a two-day visit to Kyiv, during which he announced a new aid package of more than a billion dollars for Ukraine. Just hours before the US, uh, US announcement, 17 people were killed in a Russian missile strike on a crowded market in eastern Ukraine. Another 30 people, another 32 people were wounded. And just a warning, you might find some of the images disturbing in Paul Adams' reports that's coming up. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News. Let's look at some other stories making news. At least 36 people have been killed by some of the worst flooding ever seen in southern Brazil. The governor of the Rio Grande do Sul region said it was the deadliest weather-related event in the region's history. The storm forced hundreds of people from their homes. More than a dozen people are now known to have died as a result of torrential rains which have been sweeping Greece, Turkey and Bulgaria since Monday. In Greece, some regions received up to 800 millimetres of rain, more than, normal, no, more than normally at this time of the year, leaving towns underwater. After weeks of teasing, the Rolling Stones have announced their first album of original music in 18 years at a press conference in London. Uh, this, the album is called Hackney Diamonds and will feature guest appearances from Paul McCartney. You're live with BBC News. 
The head of Japan's major talent agency, Julie Fujishima, has resigned over allegations of sexual abuse by its late founder. The Johnny and Associates founder, Johnny Kitagawa, is accused of abusing a large number of, of young men from the 1950s through to the 2010s. Kitagawa was arguably the most influential figure in Japan's entertainment industry, and his agency has held a near monopoly on Japanese boy bands for decades. He died in 2019. Well, live now to Tokyo, and we can speak to our correspondent there, Shaima Khalil. Shaima, just tell us what we're hearing from the company today. Wanting to know what happened yes. and why. Thank you very much there, Simon. And we can see people outside there, outside the prison. We'll bring you more on this story over the next few minutes. You're, you're, you're watching BBC News here with me, Catherine Biarahanga. Stay tuned as we bring you more on that manhunt there for Daniel Khalif, who escaped from Wandsworth Prison in South London. Now on BBC News, the latest business news from across the globe. World Business Report. Live from London, this is BBC News. Gas pressure easing. LNG workers in Australia agreed to delay strike action in a dispute that has seen wholesale energy prices soar in Europe. Recharging Britain's car industry, Vauxhall's Ellesmere Port becomes the UK's first EV-only factory after a £100 million investment. And retail therapy bring back tax-free shopping for tourists, say UK businesses will risk losing billions in revenue. Hello, if you've just joined us, it's good to have you with us. I'm Sally Bundock, which means we're going to rattle you through the top business stories. And we're starting with the cost of energy, a dispute in Australia that has been causing shockwaves here in Europe. Workers at liquefied natural gas or LNG facilities operated by energy giant Chevron have been threatening to strike from today over paying conditions, stoking fears of disruption to global gas supplies in the run up to the winter in the northern hemisphere. Now, that sent wholesale gas prices soaring in Europe. In the last few hours, though, unions have said that they will delay their walkout for a day because of progress being made in talks. Gas prices have fallen sharply on that development. So a little earlier, I talked to our correspondent in Sydney, Phil Mercer, who has the latest. Hannah, thank you so much. Hannah Miller there at the Vauxhall plant in Ellesmere Port. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News. You're live with BBC News. Let's carry on with the top business stories. Looking now at Britain being the only country in Europe to still not offer tax-free shopping to overseas visitors. This policy came into place, uh, sorry, the policy that was in place was scrapped after Brexit. So some retailers are arguing now is the time to change that because they're losing billions of dollars in trade to rivals in other European countries who are able to offer better deals to big spending American and Asian tourists. Well, Paul Barnes is chief executive of the Association of International Retail and he's among those calling for a turn of tax-free shopping in the UK. There you go. You heard that from the CEO of a top tech company in the United States, Chris Hulls there, CEO of Life360. Thank you so much for your company. Those are the top business stories. Of course, there's breaking news here on the BBC uh, that the UK has re-entered the Horizon Agreement uh, with the European Union. This has got huge uh, implications for the pharmaceuticals industry, for research within medicine, etc. So an interesting story that's developing. We'll have a lot more on that with Catherine at the top of the hour. So do stay with us here on BBC News and I will see you next week.
Live from London, this is BBC News. The hunt continues for a former soldier accused of terrorism who escaped from prison in London by clinging to a delivery van. After a Russian missile strike kills 17 people in eastern Ukraine, the Kremlin says it's downed several Ukrainian drones near Moscow overnight. And the UK will rejoin the European Union's flagship science programme Horizon under a new deal after months of talks. Hello and welcome. You're watching BBC News with me, Catherine Biarohanga. We start here in the UK where the hunt is continuing for a suspected terrorist who escaped from a London prison. Daniel Khalif escaped by clinging to the underside of a food delivery van on Wednesday morning. The Justice Secretary has ordered an urgent investigation into what happened and why the former soldier wasn't held in a higher security prison. Our reporter Simon Jones has more. Around the world and across the UK, this is BBC News. Well, let's look at some other stories making news. More than a dozen people are now known to have died as a result of torrential rains which have been sweeping Greece, Turkey and Bulgaria since Monday. In Greece, some regions received up to 800 millimetres of rain, more than is normally seen in a year, leaving towns underwater. After weeks of teasing, the Rolling Stones have announced their first album of original music in 18 years at a press conference in London. It's called Hackney Diamonds and will feature guest appearances from Paul McCartney, Lady Gaga and Stevie Wonder. They confirmed Charlie Watts, their drummer who died in 2021, will feature on two of the tracks. And a review of veterinary services in the UK has been launched over concerns that pet owners could be paying too much. The competitions market said vet fees were rising faster than other goods. You're, you're live with BBC News. For almost a decade, a civil war has been grinding on in Yemen, pushing the Arab world's poorest country to the brink of collapse. There has been less violence since a temporary ceasefire was agreed last year, but there is no sign of an end to the conflict. The war broke out in 2014 when Iranian-backed Houthi rebels seized the capital and much of the north. A Saudi-led coalition backed by the UK and the US intervened to restore the recognised government to power. In the midst of all the death and destruction, there is also resilience. Orla Guerin has returned to the city of Tayyiz in the southwest to see an extraordinary 11-year-old boy she first met there two years ago. You're watching BBC News. Hello there. The weather patterns in Europe aren't changing very much just at the moment, and so that means in many respects... We're